today I'm gonna to show you guys my favorite settings and how to use an analog compressor to process vocals. True Sound Studios is in your ears. Hey guys, what is up? It is Wiesna here. As always, we are here at my studio, True Sound Studios, and today I wanna to show you guys how I use an analog compressor when I'm tracking vocals and sometimes even acoustic guitar. So in a previous video, I mentioned that if you add a compressor in your vocal chain, it really can help control some of those really loud parts. It can help control the dynamics and it also can stop some of those really sharp, really fast attacks on vocals and vocalists that are just not the greatest with dynamics. Now I track with a compressor every single time I record vocals. I feel like it just helps out so much. You know, without sounding stupid, it, it kind of adds that little bit more professional sound. Um, most clients seem to think that a little bit of compression really kind of has that like radio ready sound. So today we're gonna to be using the DBX266 XL compressor. Um, unfortunately that compressor, at least from what I found, you can't buy that one new anymore, but obviously you can get it used. But its big brother is the DBX266 XS compressor. Now I will include a link in the description for the big brother, the XS model. And you guys can go ahead and check out that compressor but essentially they're the same thing. Okay, so let's check out this analog compressor in action. Uh, to start off, um, I'm gonna show you how to use the threshold, the over easy, the ratio, the attack, the auto, the release, and the output gain. So the vocal we will be using today is from one of my favorite local rappers. His name is Ryan Brennan. Uh, this is from a hip hop track that will be released fairly soon. It's actually a track that myself and him did together. Okay, so let's start off by our threshold at zero. Threshold at zero means there shouldn't be any gain reduction going on if the threshold is at zero. So let me play this for you. Um, and we're gonna have the attack on super fast, the release on super fast. And the attack is, um, when you have it on super fast it is, as it is right now, what it's gonna be doing, it's gonna start compressing essentially the second an audio transient comes into play that is loud enough to get over the threshold or the amount of volume that's gonna be coming into this compressor. Um, so therefore a slower attack would let the initial transient through and then it would start compressing where when it's super fast it's going to compress the second um, the signal goes beyond the threshold now on the release we're also going to have this on on the fastest setting it has and this way the compressor as soon as that signal gets above it's going to compress it and it's going to essentially turn off the compression as quick as possible where if it was on the slower one, it would take longer for the compressor to eventually let go of the signal. So let me play this for you and start messing around with uh, some of these settings. Father's name Jimmy, my middle name too. He taught me to swag, I'ma buy him a Porsche. And I'm riding, of course, deep in the Zuki, she purr like a horse. She's an 07, she's good in the weather. I so throw on a sweater to and give her a wash. I give her a wash, my that's homies and dogs. I got green like a forest. One eye on my forehead, stay open like forest. And all moon goes and that's back in the day. Infinity one. To me, two to one sounds good. It sounds fairly natural. As soon as you start getting a four to one, it starts hitting it just too hard. Now we could change other things to make that not hit as hard, uh, the compressor not compressed so hard. But I'm just trying to show you guys what I typically would do. So um, having it somewhere in between two and one and four and one, which is obviously be like right around three to one, is where typically I kind of like it depending on the singer. So let's take a listen to that. But this ain't a love song. This is three bitches in my crib official. The kitchen hot tub with no clothes on. I slip in my slippers like Jiminy Cricket. My pockets be spilling with Jimmy's and joints. My father's name Jimmy, my middle name too. So to me, that sounds pretty good. So we got our threshold on roughly negative 10. Uh, the ratio is pretty close to two to one. To me, that sounds pretty good. Now we have the compressor like attack and release though on super fast. So now I'm gonna start slowing them down and you're gonna hear what the compressor starts doing to the vocal. My father's name Jimmy, my middle name too. He taught me to swag, I'ma buy him a Porsche. And I'm riding, of course, deep in the Zuki, she purr like a horse. She's an 07, she's good in the weather. I throw on a sweater and give her a wash. 
I give her a wash. My homies in Boston got green like a forest. One eye on my forehead, stay open like forest. End all moon goes back in the day. But this ain't a love song. This is three bitches in my crib official. The kitchen hot tub with no clothes on. I slip in my slippers like Jiminy Cricket. My pockets be spilling with Jimmy's and joints. My father. So the only problem with having the attack and release set very slow is it almost just reduces all the volume and doesn't it doesn't seem like it's doing a whole lot anymore. It's not being active with what's going on with our vocal. So let's bring them back to we'll bring it down to a little bit. Um, a little bit backed off from the super fast and the release, same thing. So let's take a listen to this. Father's name Jimmy, my middle name too. He taught me to swag. I'm a buy, I'm a Porsche, and I'm riding, of course. Deep in the Zuki, she purr like a horse. She's an 07. She's good in the weather. I throw on a sweater and give her a wash. So thankfully, Ryan, the rapper, he he really doesn't attack the beginnings of words too much. He's pretty good with that. So I can back off the attack a little bit and let that vocal come through a little bit more, the beginnings of it. Now, if you do have a singer who is like, they sing like this, like, I want to go to the store and then I want to go to the park. They push super hard in the beginnings of those words. It would be better to turn the attack as fast as it can go and it'll help reduce some of those initial uh, uh, transients on the beginnings of those on the vocal parts. To me, the really fast attack and really fast release seems to work really well. And also keeping the gain reduction between the right around three decibels of reduction seems to be pretty good for me. I mean, it's pretty musical. So the next thing though I want to show you is the over easy. I give her a wash, my homies in Boston got green like a forest, one eye on my forehead, stay open like forest, end all moon goes back in the day. But this ain't a love song, this is three bitches in my crib official, the kitchen hot tub with no clothes on. I slip in my slippers like Jiminy Cricket, my pockets be spilling with Jimmy's and joints, my father's name Jimmy, my middle name too, he taught me to swag, I'ma buy, I'ma Porsche. So what's nice about the over easy is it like starts gradually compressing. So it's more like a ramp up to the compression. Now, typically, um, I would probably say 90% of the time I use my DBX compressors on the over easy setting. It just seems to just be very complementary to whatever it's compressing. It seems to just sound really good. So that is typically what I like to do. I have it on the over easy setting, somewhere between two and one and four to one, I think is a great ratio. Obviously this is gonna depend on your setting, your vocalist, and a whole bunch of other things. Um, I really like the attack on a very fast setting, the release on a very fast setting so that that compressor essentially is turning off as quickly as it's compressing. And then the output gain is really just a way, um, depending on how much signal you want to give to either your converters or your interface, this is how you make up for that. Because if we are reducing our signal by three decibels, technically we need to make up for it um, by three decibels because we're turning this down. So now we need to turn it back up three decibels to make up for that loss. And so now we're going to use, we'll take off the over easy and we're going to use the auto. So let's take a listen to this. And I'm riding, of course, deep in the Zuki, she purr like a horse. She's an 07, she's good in the weather. I throw on a sweater and give her a wash. I give her a wash. My homies in Boston got green like a forest. One eye on my forehead, stay open like forest. End all moon goes back in the day. But this ain't a love song. This is three bitches in my crib official. The kitchen hot tub with no clothes on. I slip in my slip. So I also, I don't hate that either. I think that does a pretty good job of, you know, of deciding what is, you know, a good uh, attack and release time for your compressor. I think it's just a great way to use it if you're not really sure on the attack and release times. Okay, so with all that being said, my favorite uh, setting so far, if I was gonna use this compressor every day to track vocals, I would press the over easy button in. I'd keep it probably just a little bit above that two to one ratio. I'd keep the attack super fast. I'd keep the release super fast, and I wouldn't have the auto button on just because um, it is going to change and be dependent on your singer. So let's get some final settings for his vocal. Flip is like Jiminy Cricket. My pockets be spilling with Jimmy's and joints. My father's name Jimmy, my middle name too. He taught me to swag. I'm a buy, I'm a push. 
And I'm riding, of course, deep in the Zuki, she purr like a horse. She's an 07, she's good in the weather, I throw on a sweater and give her a wash. So these are some great settings, especially if you're going to be using this compressor, like described in the previous video, um, to track with. So you're going to run this through your vocal mic, it's going to come into your preamp, and then it's going to leave the preamp and come into this compressor. And essentially, you are going to use this to help control some of the vocal during the tracking process. I think reducing the signal by about three decibels is a really good starting point. It's not too drastic. It's not too minimal. It's a good amount of gain reduction to control that vocal um, during the tracking process. So to me, these are some really great settings. Um, I will include these settings in the description of this video so that you guys can refer back to this nice and easily. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to stay up to date with True Sound Studios on a day-to-day -day basis, follow us on our Instagram page. I post on Instagram every single day and I'll keep you guys up to date with everything that's going on with the studio. If you're new to our YouTube channel and you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for more content. You can also listen to or purchase any of the beats that I personally make right here at True Sound Studios on our SoundCloud page, True Sound on the Beat. You can find all the links in the description below this video. So once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm Ryan Wiesner. We're here at my studio, True Sound Studios, and True Sound Studios is in your ears.